How often do you think about your heart health? Are you aware of the risks of cardiovascular disease? Well, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Cardiovascular diseases, encompassing coronary heart disease and stroke, claim the top spot as the leading cause of death in the United States. Particularly at risk are Blacks and Hispanics in underserved communities. It's a sobering reality, isn't it? But there's good news. Cardiovascular disease is largely preventable. Stay tuned to learn how you can keep your heart beating strong. Heart Smarts, a health program, is here to empower you to live a heart-healthy lifestyle. This program is not just about information, but about transformation. It offers a comprehensive approach to help you understand and achieve heart health. Heart Smarts is committed to reducing the incidence of cardiovascular disease, the leading cause of death in the United States. The program focuses on underserved communities where the risk of heart disease and stroke is greatest. Through education and empowerment, HeartSmarts aims to turn the tide on these statistics. It's a call to action, a call to change, a call to live healthier, longer lives. HeartSmarts is about arming you with the knowledge and tools you need to make HeartSmart choices every day. It's about the power of prevention and the promise of a healthier future. Remember, HeartSmarts is not just a program, it's a life-changing journey. It's about taking control of your health, one heartbeat at a time. But don't just take our word for it. Listen to these stories from people who have benefited from heart smarts. Imagine being told you're at risk for heart disease, a leading cause of death in the United States. Now picture having the knowledge and tools to combat that risk head on. For people like Maria, a single mother from an underserved community, heart smarts was a beacon of hope. The program informed decisions about her heart health, ultimately, ultimately, reducing her risk of cardiovascular diseases and then there's John, a middle-aged man who was once a prisoner of his poor lifestyle choices. For him, Heart Smarts was not just a program, but a lifesaver. It opened his eyes to the risks he was taking and gave him the push he needed to commit to a healthier lifestyle. These are not just testimonials. They are life-changing stories. Stories of empowerment, resilience, and triumph over heart disease. These are real stories from real people who have seen the impact of heart smarts in their lives. Are you ready to be the next success story? Your heart health is in your hands, and with heart smarts, you have the power to make a difference. It's time to take that first step towards a healthier lifestyle, a step that could redefine your future. Heart smarts is not just an ally, it's a beacon, guiding you to make informed decisions for your heart health. So why wait? The path to a healthier heart is just a click away. You'll find the link to Heart Smarts right down in the description below. Start your journey towards a healthier heart today with Heart Smarts. Ever wonder who the man behind the world renowned Nightwatch painting was? Let's journey back to the 17th century, to the bustling city of Leiden, Netherlands. This is where our story begins, with the birth of a child destined to leave an indelible mark on the world of art. This child, Rembrandt Harmanzoon van Rijn, was born to a miller and a baker's daughter. From an early age, Rembrandt showed an unusual inclination towards art. His parents, recognizing his talent, enrolled him in Latin school where he was introduced to the world of art and literature. But the classroom couldn't contain his burgeoning creativity. Soon he apprenticed under a local artist Jacob van Swanenberg, and later, Peter Lassman in Amsterdam. It was here that Rembrandt embarked on his artistic journey, one that would immortalize him in the annals of art history. This prodigious artist was none other than Rembrandt van Rijn. So, where does the story of this artistic genius start? We turn back the hands of time to the 17th century, to the city of Leiden in the Netherlands. Here, in a modest miller's home, Rembrandt Harman Zoon van Rijn was born in the year 1606. He was the ninth child of a well-off family, his father a miller and his mother a baker's daughter. As a young lad, Rembrandt's parents noticed his affinity for the arts. Instead of following the family trade, they enrolled him at the Latin school in Leiden, where he received a classical education. But the call of the canvas was too strong, and at the tender age of 14, Rembrandt became an apprentice to a local artist, Jacob van Swanenberg. Here, he spent three years learning the fundamentals of painting, sketching, and etching. The next stop on Rembrandt's artistic journey took him to Amsterdam, where he studied under the renowned history painter Peter Lassman. Lassman's influence was profound, and Rembrandt absorbed his master's skill of storytelling, his ability to convey emotion, 
and his intricate use of light and shadow. After six months of intense study, Rembrandt returned to his hometown of Leiden. Armed with a wealth of knowledge and honed skills, he set out to make his mark on the world. His early works were small but intricate, filled with biblical themes and dramatic lighting that would become his signature style. He was just in his early 20s, but it was evident that this young artist had a unique vision and a talent that was beyond his years. In these formative years, Rembrandt's art was not just about creating beautiful images. It was about storytelling, about capturing the human soul, about bringing light to the shadows. His paintings were a mirror to the world, reflecting not just the physical appearance of his subjects, but their inner emotions and experiences. And that's where our journey begins. In a humble home in Leiden, with a young boy with a dream and a paintbrush in his hand, the seeds of greatness were sown early in Rembrandt's life. And as we'll see, they would grow into a legacy that would stand the test of time. Rembrandt's talent didn't take long to shine through. No sooner had he set foot in the bustling city of Amsterdam than his extraordinary skills were being recognized. Amsterdam, a thriving hub of commerce and art in the 17th century, was the perfect springboard for a young, ambitious artist like Rembrandt. Not just a city of opportunity, Amsterdam was also where he met Saskia van Eilenburg, the love of his life. They tied the knot in the summer of 1634, and their union marked a significant turning point in Rembrandt's life and career. Saskia, a lively and vivacious woman, became his muse. Her radiance and charm infused a new energy into his work. Many of his paintings from this period, such as The Jewish Bride, are testament to their deep love and the happiness they shared. It was during this period that Rembrandt truly began to flourish as an artist. His reputation expanded beyond the borders of Holland, and he became a sought-after portrait painter. His ability to capture the human soul on canvas was unparalleled, and this skill earned him commissions from the highest echelons of society. But Rembrandt was not just a painter, he was also a teacher, passing on his knowledge and techniques to a new generation of artists. His studio in Amsterdam became a creative hub, buzzing with the energy of eager apprentices. They learned from the master himself, imbibing his unique approach to light and shadow, his eye for detail, and his deep understanding of human emotion. This was a time when Rembrandt's life and art were both in their golden phase. He was at the pinnacle of his career. His personal life was filled with love and joy, and his art was a reflection of these positive influences. However, like the chiaroscuro he was so fond of using in his paintings, his life too had its shadows which were soon to eclipse the bright spots. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's revel in the brilliance that was Rembrandt during his golden years. But the sun doesn't shine forever, does it? Just as Rembrandt's art was known for its play of light and shadow, so too was his life marked by periods of brightness and darkness. In the midst of his flourishing career, Rembrandt was met with personal tragedies that would break the heart of any man. His beloved wife, Saskia van Eilenburg, the muse behind many of his masterpieces, succumbed to illness and left him a widower. The loss was profound, leaving a void that was hard to fill. But the wheel of misfortune was not done turning for Rembrandt. He and Saskia were blessed with four children, but fate was cruel, and only one, Titus, survived infancy. The death of his children was a blow that shook Rembrandt to his core, casting long, dismal shadows over his life. Yet, it was not just personal loss that marked this period of Rembrandt's life. Financial struggles began to mount, as the artist was known more for his spending than for his saving. He lived a life of luxury, collecting art and rarities from around the world. But this lavish lifestyle came at a hefty price. Eventually, the weight of his debts led to bankruptcy. His house, his precious collection of art and curiosities, his printing press, all were sold off in a public auction. His life, once so full of light and color, seemed to be reduced to shades of gray. But through all these trials and tribulations, Rembrandt's spirit remained unbroken. He continued to create, to paint, to etch, and to draw. His personal struggles seeped into his art, adding layers of depth and emotion that still captivate us to this day. His art became a testament to his resilience, a beacon of light in the darkest of times. His mastery over light and shadow was not just evident in his paintings, but in his life as well. Life wasn't always kind to Rembrandt, but he never let it tarnish his art. 
Despite everything, Rembrandt's spirit remained unbroken. As Rembrandt Van Rijn navigated the choppy waters of his later years, he found solace in the one thing that had always been his refuge, his art. The trials of life did not deter him. Instead, they served as an impetus, pushing him towards an even deeper exploration of his craft. His style evolved, becoming bolder, more abstract, and intensely emotional. The once meticulously detailed portraits gave way to a profound exploration of human emotion, etched in every stroke of his brush. Even as he grappled with personal loss and financial turmoil, Rembrandt continued to work, churning out masterpiece after masterpiece. He painted until the very end, his last work, Simeon with the Christ Child in the Temple, left unfinished at his death. On the 4th of October, 1669, Rembrandt breathed his last. His death marked the end of an era, yet it was just the beginning of his enduring legacy. Buried in an unmarked grave at the Westerkirk Amsterdam, Rembrandt might have left the world in obscurity, but his art ensured he would never be forgotten. Over three centuries after his death, Rembrandt's influence continues to reverberate through the hallowed halls of the art world. His innovative use of light and shadow, his mastery of detail, and his unparalleled ability to capture the human soul on canvas remain unmatched. From Goya to Picasso, generations of artists have found inspiration in Rembrandt's works, his techniques shaping the evolution of art itself. Today, Rembrandt's paintings adorn the walls of the world's greatest museums, a testament to his timeless appeal. His life, a tale of brilliance, struggle, resilience, and passion, continues to inspire countless artists and art lovers alike. In the end, Rembrandt's story is not just about his art, it's about the indomitable human spirit, the ability to transform pain into beauty, and the unwavering belief in one's craft. It's about a man who, despite everything, chose to paint. Rembrandt Van Rijn, a name that resonates with resilience, innovation, and unmatched artistic brilliance. What made Rembrandt's art so special? The answer lies in his revolutionary techniques. Rembrandt was a master of light and shadow, a technique known as chiaroscuro. This method brought a depth and three-dimensionality to his works, making them appear almost lifelike. His attention to detail was equally impressive, with every brush stroke meticulously placed to tell a story. But perhaps Rembrandt's greatest gift was his ability to capture the essence of human emotions. His works are not just portraits, they are windows into the souls of his subjects. Take, for example, The Night Watch. This masterpiece is not just a group portrait, it's a vibrant scene filled with emotion and drama. Or consider his self-portrait with two circles, where he presents himself with an almost brutal honesty. Rembrandt's art wasn't just about beauty,